Billingsgate was the, one of the original Roman docks, although it has metamorphosized itself numerous times over the years. And I picked this particular site because it had a boat which was a, a River Thames type barge in front or on the opposite side of the river. So I, I painted the boat uh, looking across at, at uh, Billingsgate. Billingsgate Market, which was um, redone in the 1880s, although it's no longer used at uh, the present day as a market, but it was ceased to exist about 10 years ago. And the Billingsgate Market has now moved down river as a lot of the, the uh, London port facilities have. However, it was the original site of the Roman docks and in the second and third century it would have been where the vast majority of the Roman boats would have pulled in. And I felt that this was a very, very good spot to actually start the series of paintings. It has in front of it a river barge, uh, a, river, a river Thames barge uh, come sailing boat and uh, it was almost the type of size that a Roman ship would have been at that particular time in the Roman, in Roman history. did this painting uh, side on, so it's rather stylized painting, uh, with a boat which would have been similar to, to the type used at the time of the Roman occupation of England. And uh, the painting itself was done under fairly adverse conditions in the sense that it was quite windy, uh, it was raining and the showers were coming so I sometimes actually had to take it down off its easel and bring it in under shelter before I completed the painting. Uh, it was it was difficult enough to to uh, to start. The tide was actually on the way it was on was coming in, so the boat actually rose considerably as I painted it. So where was the original uh, view? The boat deck was you could quite easily see, but as it rose, it went out of of uh, vision and it became more stylized painting. I caught some of the uh, passing river traffic in it as a, as a final touch with the skyline, the contemporary skyline of London City behind. Uh, the, the palette really dicta dictates your colour. Um, how a palette evolves uh, depends on, on your blending combination. And at a certain point in time, a harmony uh, evolves within a palette. And that really is the end dictation of my paintings are spontaneous. They're they're, they're not um, they're not overstudied. So the actual atmosphere is what I'm looking for, and the palette more or less dictates how the finished product is. This, this, the London skyline is actually quite, a, quite an ex ex exotic, I would say, because of the new buildings that are in it. Um, and it's actually very, very good because you have these type of ups and downs, almost like a graph uh, of uh, a very, very ex extended heartbeat with highs and lows. So it's, uh, quite, um, it's quite good. <laughs> The mood of this painting is actually um, broody because of the climatic conditions which it was painted. It's, it's very, very uh, moody with a kind of bluish tinge um, to it. Um, it's, its atmosphere is, is uh, toned.
Well, the, the at a certain point in time, uh, I was under pressure to actually do it because the rain was coming so much, and it was it was. Uh, I had to try and catch the atmosphere of the sky behind, so that it was finished actually on between sky and water, um, and I was re reasonably happy with the outcome. It's it merged the color schemes merged quite well with the customs house on one side and the Billingsgate market on the other.